Well, the thing is, she's trying to make the big fights. It's just that, I don't know, no one in her division seems to want to fight her. Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to Broken Nose Boxing's build up video for Amanda Serrano versus Yamalith Mercado for the World Female Featherweight Championship. Live on the Jake, Jake? Jake Paul versus uh, probably a former basketball player or a, or a retired UFC fighter. What one do we think? What one do we think? Uh, I'm going to go UFC fighter. Is it UFC fighter? It's UFC fighter. Also, there's no one over there. <laughs> Right, there's a couple of things to talk about in this fight because when it got announced, uh, there was uh, some negativity around the fight. What negativity around boxing? Surely not, Christopher. Yes, negativity around the fight. And, and there was probably one main reason why there was a little bit of negativity on the fight. And it's that Amanda Serrano, the current world champion in the female featherweight division, is fighting another fighter from the Super Bantamweight division. Her last fight was against Daniela Bermudez, who was a champion at Super Bantamweight and was stopped by Serrano in pretty emphatic fashion, but it was a good fight. In this fight, it's another Super Bantamweight champion stepping up to fight Serrano. Now, on the surface level, you could say the why isn't Serrano fighting like the top names in her division? Why isn't she wanting to unify against the other champions? Well, I actually made a video on this, should be appearing up there, and uh, I talked about what Amanda Serrano's road to Undisputed could be, the road to basically getting all the sanction and body belts, and um, you know, she could, fight, she could fight Erica Cruz, she could fight Sarah Mafud, Mafud's kind of got her own promotional thing going on in Denmark, and Erica Cruz was the one that everyone thought would be the kind of easy fight to make because uh, Erica Cruz just won the world title and seemed keen for the fight. She was offered the fight by Serrano's promoter, De Bella Entertainment, and she rejected that fight. $100,000 as well. $100,000 and Erica Cruz rejects that fight. I don't usually like to comment on the business side of boxing because it's a riot. But I, I feel for Amanda Serrano here. She is, without a doubt, the best fighter in the female featherweight division. But no one else in that division seems to want to fight her. She has to get other champions from other weight divisions. And there's a little bit of hypocrisy going on, I feel. Because in the female divisions, there isn't that much strength and depth. So usually, fighters have to go up and down weights in order to get big fights. And you see this consistently throughout every of the top fighters and even the lowest fighters it's very common for female fighters to go up and down weights and chasing big money fights and it's just the same thing happening here I, I think that credit should be given to Mana Serrano for fighting two reigning world champions back to back yes they're not in her division but the two champions in her division don't want to fight her so what can you do? You can't force someone to fight. There is no centralised boxing governance. There is, you know, I wish there was. That would make competition so much better. It would make the best have to fight the best. But we don't have that. Instead, we've got the Wild West. Mercado is a good young fighter. And uh, she's developing, you know, growing into her sort of full potential. She has quite far apart experience and skill-wise from Serrano, but everyone is, you know. There's very, very few fighters in all the divisions around Serrano that are anywhere near Serrano's level. All right, let's go on to the tale of the tape. Yamalith Mercado currently is the WBC female super bantamweight title holder. She has got a record of 18 wins, two losses, with five wins coming by way of knockout. She is 23 years old and she is from Chihuahua, Mexico. Specifically, a place that I can't pronounce. Ciudad Quetmoc. 
we'll call it that. In terms of Mercado's most notable fights, she lost a split decision victory in 2018 against Fata Mazarika for the WBC title, and in the rematch, she beat Zarika on a unanimous decision in 2019. She has also beaten in her last fight the undefeated Angelica Rascon in a title defence in 2021. And now it's time for the real deal! Amanda Serrano is a seven-weight female world champion. She has got a very impressive record of 40 wins, one loss, one draw, with 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Yes, that is a 71% knockout ratio, which is very high, given that she has consistently fought at world level for most of her career in women's boxing. She is 32 years old, she is a southpaw, and she is born in Puerto Rico, but now stays in Brooklyn, New York, USA. In terms of Serrano's most notable fights, she first won the IBF Super Featherweight title in 2011, the second round TKO over Kimberly Connor. She lost her only fight in 2012 against Rita Wahlberg for the WBC Super Featherweight title. She beat Fatima Zarika twice in 2015, both on unanimous decisions, the same Zarika that beat and also lost to Mercado recently. Serrano also beat Yasmin Rivas in 2017 for the WBO Super Bantamweight title. She beat Heather Hardy for the WBO Featherweight title in 2019 on points. And she's most recently beat Daniela Bermudez via a 9th round KO in defence of her WBO and WBC female featherweight titles. So Serrano fights Mercado at a featherweight championship unification fight. Champion versus champion as one fighter steps up and one fighter defends her sanction and body belts. It's not ideally the fight that Serrano fans would want to see due to boxing politics, but it's the fight that you're getting. Thanks for watching. Remember, hit that little like button and I'm out. Peace.